This is a little drill to incorporate to understand club head lag. Really, really vital to understand this as you apply the tour golf ball. In my hand, I've got a grape, okay? This is how I'm gonna squish that grape. If I take my golf grip, which we'll have a separate chapter on, and I set this grape gently in between the grip and my index finger right here, you'll notice that I haven't squished any juice out of that grape. Now what happens in a golf swing, in an effective golf swing, the pivot puts some energy into your arms that go around you, and your pivot puts some energy, your, the return pivot puts energy back into your arms on the way down. And it's that energy on the way down that squishes that grape. Now that grape, the juice clearly burst out of that, out of its skin on my way down. And how that works is simple. The golf club puts pressure. You've got the weight at the end of a stick. When we change direction, we need to embrace the fact that we're going to have that pressure build up in our hand. Even though my eyes are on the golf ball at all times, my mind is always in my hands. I'm trying to feel where the club is going to put pressure. When that pressure is set in, then I allow my pivot to throw that golf club out. That's the freedom needed. That's how leg pressure actually gets stored, energy gets stored, and it eventually throws itself out. It's really no different than if you're fly fishing. Uh, most, of you, most of you have felt that. When you're throwing a baseball, the same components are in place. When you throw a baseball, your elbow leads your wrist. Your wrist trails your elbow, and eventually each segment of energy is released. Well, the same holds true in golf. You need to be able to feel that leg pressure, understand it. When we hold on to it at a dress, there's really no leg pressure in place. We're just holding a, we're just holding a golf club. It's when our pivot changes direction that we feel mass in our hands and we let our pivot deliver that mass toward the target.